Guess how it went down though. What did you stop me for? Right. These are the reason why I stopped you. Oh, oh my God, are you kidding? Exactly like, why. that's exactly what happened. Do that. So don't sit here and tell me that, hey, if you would have came up and said, Andy, my brother, this is why I stopped I you, X, I Y, and Z, you'd have been like, oh, that's cool, man. Because that's not how it would have went down, because I told you why I stopped you, and you lost your shit. Welcome back to We The People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer, former sheriff's deputy. Today we have another good video for you guys. Uh, it's gonna be educational. You're gonna see some do's and don'ts and learn more of how to deal with the police. I'm also gonna sit in on this one as well. I'm actually finding this format uh, pretty uh, enjoyable. I actually like doing this. So hope you guys don't mind. This video is brought to you by the YouTube channel, Nightcrawler Media. If you have not subscribed to his channel, please show support and go and do so. Now, let's go ahead and jump into this video. If you drive past the 400 block of North Union Street in Aurora, Illinois, you could lose your freedom. This is a pretextual stop conducted by APD officer Timothy Young in 2019. Although the courts have decided pretextual stops are legal, they did not say it was okay for the police to break the law while conducting them. It's clear that Officer Young blew this stop sign for no apparent reason. And I see no evidence of the traveler failing to signal a turn within 100 feet of a turn. Typical blue line sovereign citizen working in Aurora. You can see in the chrome reflection exactly when the stop was initiated. Hey guys, pay attention to the attitude or the arrogance of this officer. Hi there. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. Good. You have your license insurance? Why are you pulling me over? Late turn signal, world stop sign. Oh, that's something. Yeah, good boy. Yeah. Pay attention. This officer is going to um, give us the exact reason why he stopped this driver. It had nothing to do with a turn signal or uh, blowing the stop sign. Because obviously, as uh, Nightcrawler Media just pointed out, this officer actually blew the stop sign. By the way, make sure you guys subscribe to Nightcrawler Media. I have no idea what you just said. Ooh. Are you just disputing that or? Where are you coming from? East time. From where? Let's do the stop, okay? On the I'm sorry? Why do you want to know where I'm coming from? I'm sorry? Why do you want to know where Did I'm coming Did you say, let's from? do the stop? No, I said, why do you want to know where no, I'm no, coming from? No, no, before that, you asked, let's do the stop? No, I said, let's stop this. That's what I said, let's stop this. Oh, let's stop. Yeah. Okay. And so now you're asking why I want to know where you're coming from? Right. Because what I saw is what I believe you coming from the 400 block of North Union Street. Okay. Okay out of a driveway right over there out of a driveway that's been involved in shootings <laughs> driveways cause shootings now Come on. and this is the real reason for the stop had nothing to do with a turn signal or a stop sign he was watching the driver from the jump recently no driveway. i didn't okay. come out of no driveway that's what i saw no you didn't see me driving from no driveway okay. that's what it appeared to me right. is what i'm telling you okay okay so what do you want because I didn't come out of no driveway. I want your license and insurance. You got it. I, which I have, okay? And I wanted to talk to you about where you were coming from because to me, it appeared to me, I mean, do, does what I'm saying not make sense at all? Does it honestly, is it honestly that unreasonable? It makes no sense. Guys, remember this. Rodriguez versus the United States. A police officer can only keep you on a traffic stop for as long as it takes him or her to write a citation or a warning. Anything after that, they need probable cause. And even if they don't have their probable cause and they're trying to extend the stop by asking these questions, this is a Fourth Amendment rights violation. When you're stopped, don't answer any questions. Hey, where are you coming from? Remember, if you have my app, if you have my free ebook, that's one of the trick questions that police officers ask, will ask you. 
For example, if he or she suspects you of driving drunk and you say, oh, I'm coming from the party or a bar or a club or whatever. Well, you just help them in their efforts to build a case against you. Don't answer questions. Remain silent and start your clock. Record and start your clock, because if he is extending this stop, this is a Fourth Amendment rights violation. Since we've had multiple shootings, we've had robberies, we've had other things of that nature out of in front of the very house that it appeared to me that you were coming from just now. So I wouldn't be doing my job or my due diligence as a police officer if I didn't check you out. Now, the reason I stopped you was for a stop sign violation and a late turn signal. You have to signal beyond 100 feet of turning. You have to stop before the white stop line, and you have to seize all motion when you come to that stop. That's just a cover for the, for the stop, but that's not the reason he stopped him. You didn't do any three of those things. So if you want to be argumentative and you want documentation on the reasons why I stopped you, I can go to my car and I'll gladly write you two tickets so you have documentation that you can go and fight at court if you'd like. But I'm asking you where you're coming from. I'm coming from East Town. Okay. All right. And but like I explained to you, it appeared to me as if you were coming from somewhere else. Right. But the story okay. about telling me that I came out of somebody's driveway, that smells like bullshit to me. Because I didn't come out of nobody's driveway. Okay. I pulled to the side so the other people can come. Oh, so maybe that makes sense? No. Because, because what did I say? I said it appeared to me as though you were coming from the driveway or in front of a house of the of a oh. home that's been involved the, in with all of, this stuff. In front now, guys, if you're in Illinois and this cop's around and it appears to him that you came from a certain house or area, he's going to stop you and violate your rights because it appeared you were coming from a certain house. The house, yes. Whether it's the in driveway. front of the house or the driveway. No, the driveway means that I'm coming out You're of the You're arguing driveway. semantics. It doesn't matter. Because no, I'm illegal. I'm a paralegal. It, it doesn't That's matter. Why. It doesn't matter. Illegal. Okay, so did I explain my case well enough for you? No. no. I didn't. I, I really didn't. When you, you explained okay. it well enough for Here's me. Here's your insurance. I'll be back in a moment, okay? You know what? That's cool. Because you know what? Here's I'm your insurance. You why I'm running for president of the United States right here. You're running for president of the United sure States? Am. Andy Williams Jr. on the ballot. Oh, okay. Right now. Okay. Right You're now. on the 2020 ballot? I sure am. Are you? And, and I'm a homegrown aurora. There's like third. Are you a Democrat or Republican? I'm an, I'm or? an independent. You're an you independent? Okay, that's good. We need more of those. I talk to Kirsten Zimmerman and say, you know what? I don't mind being pulled over for what you're saying, but when you're telling me I'm coming out of a driveway and I know I'm coming from East High, just talking to them about the gang problem, just got through talking to Kevin Jenkins about how I can come over there and help right now and inspire these brothers, and then I get pulled over by the police. Now, if you said, hey, you get pulled over by the police? And you, and, you. And, yeah. And when, and when I saw y'all traveling me, I'm talking to my wife, I'm like, babe, they're going to pull me over. Because coming from oh, the streets, you kind of like know what's going to happen. But if you would have said, hey, brother, listen, Andy Williams, it appeared that you were coming from this house. Where? We, no, that's not what it was. Guess what? Guess I feel how, your sure, energy. Sure. Guess how it energy. came. Guess how it. Guess how it went down, though. What did you stop me for? Right. These are the reason why because I stopped I you. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! Are you kidding? Exactly like why. that's because exactly I what happened. I didn't do that. So don't sit here and tell me that hey, if you would have came up and said, Andy, my brother, this is why I, I stopped you X, Y, and Z, you'd have been like, oh, that's cool, man. Because that's not how it would have went down. Because I told you why I stopped you, and you lost your shit. Very, um, this is a, an extremely professional police officer, as we all can see. Uh, yeah, he's very professional, definitely not arrogant, um, and definitely respects the rights of uh, the citizens, the public. Sarcasm. No, I didn't lose my yeah, shit. Yeah, you did. Losing my shit would have been like, fuck you. That would have been losing my shit, but okay. I didn't lose my shit right. like that. I'll be back with you. Now he's offended. wonder what they're talking about I'm the wrong one I ain't doing nothing to you what's up I never said you're doing anything to me. no but why he gotta stare at me like it's cool you pulling me over saying whatever but he like literally staring at me now imagine this right here so imagine you are stopped on a traffic stop the police officer comes up to your window he's speaking to you at the driver's side the other officer, he goes over to the passenger side, which next next time just never roll that window down. But you have a, a officer on the passenger side of your car. And when the other officer who was at the driver's side goes back to his car, 
his partner is in your car staring at you like this, trying to intimidate you. Like there is no reason for this. Absolutely no reason for this guy to be staring at this man, the driver, five, ten minutes straight, just staring at him with his shades on, very unprofessional, trying to intimidate. Now, there is a court case. Uh, U.S. versus Nguzi. I'm probably just really butchered that name, but I can never really say it properly. U.S. versus Nguzi. And in that case, it states that police can stop a driver with reasonable articulable suspicion of a crime or that or if you've committed some traffic infraction. But a police officer cannot just come up to your car and open your door, nor can they lean inside of your car like this guy is doing. And if they do so, it is considered an unlawful search. It is a Fourth Amendment rights violation. As we are seeing this and we all are witnesses, this guy is committing a Fourth Amendment rights violation because he's trying to intimidate. He's trying to intimidate. These are the tyrants. These are the police in America today. Joke? I don't have nothing else to okay. say. Well, I, I can hear you screaming Because I don't feel comfortable when I have three police officers coming up on me on a traffic stop, then I identify that I did not come from the house, which you're saying that it is, and then you're still staring at me because I'm agitated. I did not come from the house. I came from East High. Do you want to call Kevin Jenkins? Do you want to no, call Jason Ward? No, absolutely not. Uh, that's fine. Who do you want? I tell you where I'm coming from. I don't from. need to call anyone okay. because this is my traffic stop right Great. now. Great. I'm in charge. This is my traffic stop. I own the world. I will call no one. Obey. Okay. And right now you are detained. No, am I'm I not detained. You are, I'm actually. Over, but I'm not detained because I have the right to travel. Oh, okay. You do not have the right to leave I'm right not now. Detained. You are detained. I'm in a stop. Right. You're in a lawful detention right now. Unlawful. Unlawful? Okay. We'll see about it in court. Okay, when you go to fight the two tickets that, that my partner's writing right now, okay? If that's what you want to do. That's your right. But you don't have the right to leave right now, so do let's make that clear. Do you have the right to lean on my car? Do, would you like me to stop leaning on your car? I would like him to stop leaning on my car. Because I'd love to make sense of all this for you. If you would let me, like I already tried to do. It all makes sense to me. Does it? Everything makes sense. You already admitted to me that you pull away from the curb in front of a sense. house Wait, where, there's been where there's been shootings and robberies the last couple days. But we still got to talk about this? Okay. It all makes sense. So it like all I told makes you, sense. So like I told you, you still talking I'm about what I already makes you. sense. I know why you stopped. All that makes sense. Every bit of it from the beginning to the end all makes sense. Okay, wonderful. What doesn't make sense is why he had to stand right there staring at me, mean mugging me, reckless Would you like me to explain that to you? Yeah. Because he is my backup officer. Okay. Okay? Okay. And so you're afraid? Absolutely not. I got you. I'm not afraid. Do I appear afraid? No, you don't. But what do but, you need backup but, for? But, but do you understand that... In a police, I mean, if you want to be the president, or if you're you're down there at East High talking with Kevin Jenkins and other mm -hmm. school administrators about gang activity and gang problems in Aurora and crime and violence and all that stuff, you, be aware that traffic stops are the most dangerous part of a police officer's job. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are. No, they're, not. they're not. Well, it's time to turn it around, and now the victim mentality is coming out. I'm a police officer. Okay, statistics show that traffic stops are the most dangerous part of a police officer's job. Right, which gives you the right to shoot me if you feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Absolutely not. Did I right. say that? No, but see, that, it, did, did that come what, out of my mouth? No, you didn't, no, but I'm no, telling you. No, I didn't. Your, let me, your let me same finish thing it. is where my same thing is. And he's still leaning on the car, and I am uncomfortable, and I want him to stop leaning on my car. I understand. You don't want me to stand where I want to stand. Stand where you want to. If we could get you out of the car, then I wouldn't have to leave. You're not going to get nothing out of the car because I ain't do nothing to have to get out the car. Well, you have to get so out the car. So go stand back you where you go stand where you were. Then I can roll up my window. You're not in charge here. I'm not going to do what you're telling me. You're, you're absolutely not in charge here. I'll, I'll tell you that. I mean, there are a few there are a few certainties here. Okay, one is that you're being lawfully detained. You're on a traffic stop. Okay, you you don't have the right to travel or whatever I it is that you said. I have the right said. to remain silent. I don't Absolutely. Want to talk about nothing Absolutely. Else. I don't want to hear about nothing. And another else. certainty is that you're not in charge here. We are. Okay. I don't know who stopped you in the past. Who you feel like you can run circles around, but it ain't us. I'll tell you that right now. And you're not going to sit here and tell me what the most dangerous part of a police officer's job is either. Oh, and you're also going to not tell us that we don't know the law in terms of the Supreme Court has ruled that if we order you out of the car, you shall obey that command and get out of the car on a traffic stop. 
We don't need a reason to have you get out of the car. False. They do need an articulable fear for their safety. Unfortunately, all they have to do is say those magic words at any point in time. And he is correct. Unfortunately, police officers can just simply say, hey, I was scared, so therefore I got him out of the car. Uh, Pennsylvania versus Mims. That's the case if you guys didn't know. All right. But it does state that police officers can order you out of the vehicle if they fear for their safety, which they are doing. These guys are building a case. Understand when police officers are stopping you, they're building a case before your car ever comes to the point where it's at a complete stop and in park. That officer is building a case, just like the other officer who's obviously violating uh, case law. He's leaning inside of a window, but his justification is this. I can't. And you're going to hear him say this here shortly. I need to be able to see your hands. Why? Because he wants to lean on the false hood of I fear for my safety. You're highly aggressive. You're highly agitated. You're screaming. OK, to the point where I'm sitting in the. And one more thing, guys. I know some of you guys are like, gosh, let the video play. You're getting on my nerves. Hey, listen, I got to say this because these videos are meant uh, for to be educational versus entertainment, right? When a police officer is stating things that this officer is stating, you're aggressive, you're loud, you're screaming, things like this. Again, he's building his case. He is trying to use that against you. So just in case he pulls you from the vehicle, he tases you, God forbid, shoots you, anything, right? Well, he was aggressive. I was in fear. These are the things that police officers do. So when you, these are magic words to listen for. All right. So, hey, I fear for my safety. I get it. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to build your case. You're definitely not fearing for your safety. You're just trying to look for a way to injure me, harm me or violate my rights and then get away with it later. In my squad car and I can hear you screaming. And you wonder why we have backup on traffic stops? Is that a serious question? You look up actual statistics from yourself instead of just listening to false narratives that get pushed through CNN and MSNBC. And He's like really offended by this. Things like that. Number six is police shootings. Number, the, the, the number six. Lynching, lynching to police shootings to all of that. In this generation, that spirit is no different than it's always been. Oh. And only this time, we can just keep shooting and get away with it. That's what it is. Because it, want me where I was. But see, but, but it was. So go back to your tactical position. So I don't want you, you leaning on my window. But you're leaning you on my window. Me, and I have to bend down like this in order to watch your hands. So stand up. There it is. I have to watch your hands. Here's your license back. Here are your two citations. Really quickly, guys. I want you to pay attention to something right here. Okay, so he's going to give him two tickets, two citations. Initially, he's just going to give him the citations, let him sign it, and then he's gonna let him go. But the driver wants to read the citations. So out of retaliation, watch what the officer does. Like I explained to you once for a stop sign, once for a late turn signal. I'm gonna have you sign right here on the circle box. What am I signing for? It's not, you're not admitting to guilt. It's just stating that you promised to comply with the terms of the ticket. I'm not trying to promise to comply with the terms of the ticket. Well, then you'll get a, a warrant for traffic. Warrant you're either going to. Yes. No problem, I'll get the you have, warrant. You, you have to comply with the terms of these citations. That means one of, you have, you have several options. You can either go to court and fight it. You can follow the instructions on the back of the blue copy, pay the ticket. Okay, or you can plead guilty and get court supervision. I mean, it's it's up to you. Right. So, but you need to sign the tickets. Okay, and if I don't, I'll uh, write refused. I mean, mean. Okay. You're I, still I, getting I, issued the ticket, so. No problem. I would have to read the whole ticket before I sign something. I can't just sign something without reading it and go by what you're telling me. If you want to wait till I read the whole ticket, then I'll do that. No, well, that's all right. I mean, you have your copies of the tickets right there. Okay. You want to read? You want to read these so you understand what's going on. Does I mean, I can explain it, it to you. No, no, it no, has no, all your information. Read. I need to read that. Okay. Go ahead. Read it. Okay.
He's going to become frustrated while waiting for the driver to read it. Fail, failure to signal 100 feet prior to the turn. That's the statute number right there. Right, I know. Okay. But where are we at? And that was at that was at High Street and Front Street. Disobeying a stop sign. There's a statute number right there. High Street and Front Street. And now we're on High and Forest. Yes, these are these are the locations of the violation of the stop. Right now you're at High and Forest. Or high in gates is, is. What is these? There's 398 and 390? 392 oh. and 390. Those are our badge numbers. Gotcha. Do you have any questions? Nope. Okay. Court's mandatory. Nope. Right there. Now, all of a sudden, court is mandatory. So he no longer has the option to pay the uh, ticket. He no longer has the option to go to choose to go to court. But he, now he has, he, he has to be there. Why? Because this officer is upset because the driver decided to read the citation and he felt like the driver was wasting his time. So therefore, what police officers will do, there's a small box on the bottom of the citations. You check that box and that box states that the ticket is now mandatory for court. You must appear at this point. So since the driver wasted the cop's time, so he felt now he's going to waste the driver's time. These are small little ways that cops retaliate that a lot of the public don't know. So pay attention to these types of behavior, because when you file your complaints, these are some things that you might want to uh, mention if this happens to you. Problem. So it's on the bottom of the ticket. I haven't been able to find a single incident related to robbery or shootings on Union Street in Aurora. Please let me know in the comments if you know anything. And as I continue to say all the time, this is now policing in America. Most of us know it as pretextual stops, but it's simply a cop looking around saying, hey, I want to stop that car. And he or she does so, and they violate your rights. That's why you must know them. So always know your rights and always report the police. With that being said, We The People University, signing off. Thank you for joining We The People University. If you have a video you would like us to share, please click the link in the video description. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe so that you may be notified when we publish future videos. Also, don't forget to download Cancel Tyranny version 2 and learn your basic rights when there is no time to Google. Available now on Apple and Android. And if you ever wondered about what really happens behind the scenes within the police department, check out my other channel titled Cop Tales 236 to hear all of my stories about my time and experience while working as a cop. We look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thank you for your support.